Hi, I'm Kadisha Bonsu, a member of Zenny Me's Business School, and I want to share with you all my transformation story. So when I first started Zenny, I remember coming to some of the free trainings and even then joining Business School Boot Camp. And when I first started, I was hiding. I literally would not put my camera on. Um, I didn't really even want to speak or type in a chat. I was afraid of being seen. I was afraid of asking questions because of a particular circumstance I was in. I didn't want to stand out and I didn't want to put myself out there and be vulnerable, quite honest, honestly. Um, and that was something that I quickly got over because of how authentic the people in the community were, how warm and inviting Kelly and Miranda were in the whole Zenny team. So I began with slowly posting my questions in the chat, but also um, I began to come off mute and ask a question. And each time that I did that, I realized that there was this barrier between me being my authentic self and fully getting maximum benefit out of the community. So I remember the first time that I put my video on and how much connection I felt in the community. And the rest was history after that, because I realized what I was doing was being willing to show up for myself, show up for others. And in turn, that allowed me to be able to better show up for my clients. So I stopped hiding, which then gave me practice for um, being able to be free and authentic in how I showed up in my marketing, how I showed up and how I present my practice to people around me. So that manifested in a lot of different ways. I'm someone that used to have like a bit of a fear of putting myself out there. But with Zenny, there's so many opportunities to practice putting yourself out there. And so, yes, with posting in the community, um, being a part of the live calls, I just had to get over it. And that allowed me to kind of get myself out of the way and say, you know what? I want to be my free and authentic self. And so I got my one page website up because of Zinni. Like prior to Zinni, I don't even think I would have known how to do it. I don't even think I would have had the courage to um, fully put myself out there. I think I probably would have honestly convinced myself that it was okay not to have a website, which if that's your style, that's your style. But I've learned the benefits of putting myself out there because of, ben uh, because of Zenny. And that was not met with uh, vitriol or anything like that or shame. It was actually met with a lot of encouragement and connection. I found a community in um, my Zenny Me family. I literally each week work with, um, co-work with different people from business school and, um, on different days. And that has been a sustainable, um, kind of support, right? Um, so that vulnerability paid off is what I'm getting at. And one of my biggest takeaways from Zinni, um, was being able to navigate my head trash. What, and that's something that we talk about in business school. What are those thoughts that kind of get in the way of your success, that get in the way of you fully putting yourself forward? And for me, one of the thoughts, um, affected or impacted how I was, um, being a business person, the business end of it, how I was setting fees. And so I remember saying in a, um, post during the live boot camp, um, that who am I to charge $250 for a 55 minute session? Who am I to only see clients part time? And so that was some of my head trash. And Kelly immediately challenged that and said, you're Kadisha, that too. And that statement completely flipped things for me. She didn't say, uh, you're the person with this credential. You're the person with this degree or this many degrees. She didn't care about all that. She said, you are you. And that reminded me of how we show up in a room with our clients and how that impacts clinical outcomes, which brings me to my next point of just how this stuff is not just about being a business owner. It's about affecting real change for our clients. I noticed how I was able to examine my clinical practices as a result of tools provided by Zenny, being able to look at clinical outcomes and have feedback conversations, structured feedback conversations with clients in a way that they felt supported and able to share of themselves, but that also allowed real change. So I say all of this to say in Zenny, I set a lot of goals and I was able to work towards them step by step because of the support of the Zenny Me community. And so now I am truly looking forward to the fall boot camp working session. I'm working hard to be prepared and I am really, really grateful that with Zenny, I have learned to show up, do the work and trust the process. Thank you, Zenny Me.